This is WJZ News at 4. Deadly police shooting. The body-worn camera video is out. What it reveals. Hello, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter. In an effort to be more transparent, Police Commissioner Michael Harrison have released that video this morning. And WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. Paul Gessler has the video and what the commissioner says the officers did right. Paul? Denise and Rick, this video, we want to say, can be disturbing to many who see it. This happened on Sunday morning in the Broadway East neighborhood on East Lafayette. The video starts with officers arriving and talk to one of the, talking to one of the couple's children outside. In a video made public Wednesday, Baltimore City Police Officer Gaston Melendez enters a house in East Baltimore after a child tells him his father is threatening his mom with a knife. We don't want to hurt you. We don't want to hurt anybody. Once upstairs, the officer and another who arrives moments later begins talking to the man, identified as 49-year-old Timothy Fleming. Both of them at at different times were trying to reason. And the police commissioner says both off. officers used various de-escalation tactics from training. What can we help you change? What can we fix? Ultimately, three minutes after police get upstairs, Fleming grabs his girlfriend and appears to pull back his hand holding a knife. We have to help. Hey! 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 Fleming was pronounced dead on scene. His girlfriend crawled away unharmed. Sweetheart, you all right? You all right? You all right? Did he get you? Did he stab you? Sweetheart. She spoke with WJZ Monday and said Fleming had never acted like this until this weekend. They sat there and repeatedly shooting at him. They struck and did that. She and Fleming were together 15 years and have two children together. So now they got to live with no father. Was it a fraction of a second decision to neutralize that threat to save the life of the woman? Commissioner Harrison praised those officers for their efforts trying to de escalate that situation. That incident still is under investigation. Reporting live at four outside city police headquarters, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.